what's going on everybody welcome welcome and happy father's day to all the fathers around the world and that's what i want to talk about i want to give some advice a few words of advice to the new fathers if any of you out there are new fathers you know joining into the ranks of fatherhood i want to give a few words of advice to you to help you navigate your way through this thing called fatherhood all right now let you know right now as a father i don't want to scare you but as a father i'll tell you right now be ready be ready to become the enemy i'm explain what i mean and all the fathers who've been fathers for a while know what I mean when I say this. Be ready to become the enemy. Here's an analogy. Fathers are boomerangs. I'll explain that later. Fathers are boomerangs. Okay? When you are a father, no matter what goes on, just know you must be and will be the first one to take the shot. You are the enemy to everyone in the house, the mother included. The children ain't going to like you. The mother ain't going to like you. The only ally you have the only ally you have as a new father is your father, a.k.a. the grandfather. I'll explain that too. See, only fathers know what I mean by this. When you are a father, your objective is to protect, provide, also to prevent let me get into prevent we all know about protecting and providing we know about that but we really talk about a father's role in preventing see that's where that's actually where we shine and it's also where we become the enemy when you are a father and you see your children doing things getting into things that you already know, you see in the future. Fathers see in the future, but they keep quiet about it. All right? All fathers can tell the future. But all fathers have come to the realization that just to be quiet. Because no matter what you say or do, it's going to be a problem. Your children will test you your children will ignore you your children will think you are simultaneously the coolest and the meanest person in the world okay let me say it again your children will simultaneously think you are the coolest and the meanest person in the world. Why? Because fathers know. Fathers know the future. Fathers can see the future. And our powers come in trying to prevent the issue. Not heal the issue. See, mothers heal. Mothers heal meaning after the incident has, after the child has been hurt or the incident has been done, the mother comes in to heal. The father prevents we stop you before it even gets to that point that you need healing because once it gets to the healing that means that the, the whatever is already done the pain has already happened so fathers we will always say didn't I tell you that already why do you keep doing the same thing see that's the, that, see that right there the power of prevention is also why fathers are the enemy because we see the future and we try to stop it 
before it even gets there. But that very act of, of preventing, the child will see you as the enemy. The mother will see you as the enemy. Because according to them, they believe that you are not trying to allow the child to have fun. No, 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 no. When you are a father, we are, we're, we're in the mindset of, look, why put yourself through all of this pain and all of this, all these issues as you get older? We know what you're going to do as a teenager. We've been teenagers. We've been, we've been young children. We've been adults. We've been through all the, we've been through all the dumb phases, all of that. Our goal is to prevent the dumb phases. But the dumb phases, according to the children, means you can't have no fun. And when the children say you can't have no fun, who they go run to? They run to the mother. The mother soothes the issue right now. See, moms deal with right now. Fathers deal with the future. Okay? Moms deal with right now. Child's hurt, boom. Mom take care of it right now. The child wants something, they're begging, they're crying. Mom deals with it right now. Fathers know the game. Fathers know what the child's doing, and we try to prevent that in the future. So we stop it right there. But there's a conflict. See, mom wants the child to be happy now. We're thinking about when the child gets older. And because of that, you the enemy. Now, like I said, the only ally you have as a new father or your father of a child, a teenager, whatever it is, a father's only ally is not the grandmother, it's not the mother, it's not your sister if you have them, it is the men in the family. A father's only ally is other men with children. Closest one to you, like if you, have, if you have a brother that has children, they know. You have your grandfather, your, your father, the children's grandfather, he knows because they all see the same thing. All fathers see the same thing happening over and over again in the house. We know the game. We know the game. And all of our advice, if you notice that most fathers' advice is not for you right now. Most fathers' advice is for when the child gets older to be an adult, right? That's when the father shines. If you are a father, don't look for much praise when, 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 you, when you have children. I'm telling you right now, when you are a father, don't look for praise with your children. The only reason why you have praise from your children is because... Their mom said so. Okay? Like I said, other fathers know what I'm talking about when I say this. The only reason why fathers get their praise on Father's Day is because the mother said so. Alright? The mother, if the mother never tells the child it was Father's Day, I promise you, the children ain't going to think about you. All right. Keep it, now keep in mind the, the the analogy of metal of the boomerang. Keep the boomerang keep, keep the boomerang analogy in mind. All right, boomerang. Fathers are boomerangs. All right. Here it come. As the child gets older, puberty starts hitting. They start smelling themselves, as the old folks will say. They start getting too big for their britches. You know. They start getting you know one to buck back. Whether it be the mother, whether it be the daughter or or son. Now, you're even more the enemy. Now you're more the enemy because whatever, whatever mistakes that the child made, the father saw it already. When the child was five, the father saw the mistakes of 15. When the child was 15, the father saw the mistakes of 23. See, and we've been trying to prevent 15-year-old mistakes when the child was five. 
we've been trying to prevent 23-year-old mistakes when the child was 15. But when you know the future and everybody sees you with the enemy, fathers be quiet. That's why, that's why fathers don't speak a lot. That's why fathers, whenever, whenever you hear a father talk, this is how you know a father has been through something. Whenever you hear a father talk, they don't talk long. Fathers don't speak long. Whatever advice they have to give, whatever advice they have to say to you, they make it very short, very concise sound bites. Fathers give out sound bites. Why? Because fathers know, well, old fathers know what new fathers don't know. The more you talk, the less they listen. All right? The more you talk, the less they listen. So what you need to do as a new father is learn the art of the sound bite. Learn how to give powerful information in very short sentences. You ask, you ask any father, any grandfather, what advice would you have to give for a new father uh, for a new father? They will always give you short sound bite answers. They will never give you long elaborated answers. No, 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 no. That short sound bite answer will come back in the future. Now, here's where see you spent you spent 18 plus years not getting your shine, not getting your credit as a father. All right, I know it sounds horrible, but let me let me let me bring it back to you. Here is where you as a father truly get your shine and praise. Here's where it happens. The moment the moment the child goes out on their own. The moment when, you, when the child get their first car, they ain't gonna like you. When a child goes to graduate from high school to college, eh, you'll be alright. The moment the child becomes an adult, all right, and they live on their own, they start paying their bills or whatever it is, that's the moment where you are able to celebrate Father's Day. Like I said, other fathers know what I mean. See, mothers get the childhood years. Mothers get the praise when, the, when, the, when, the, when, the, when the, your uh, child is a child. That's when they get their praise. Fathers get their praise when their child is an adult. Because all of the things that you have been saying that is really for the future finally hits the child when they're an adult. When, when you used to tell your child, and you will tell your child this, when they start acting a fool, until you start paying your own bills, you follow my rules. See, children don't understand paying bills and all that stuff. They don't, they don't know nothing about that. But when the child becomes an adult and they start paying their own bills and living on their own and having to, and having to deal with all the all of the responsibilities, that is the moment where the father is the boomerang. See, a boomerang, you throw the boomerang and it goes out far. Farther distance. And it goes so far that just you don't think it's ever gonna come back, right? That's the information. Now, boomerangs. Once the boomerang reaches a certain point in their distance, they come back. They come back to the thrower. That's why fathers are like boomerangs. All of the advice, all of the discipline. All of the screaming and the headaches and all that stuff. It all comes back once the child becomes an adult. See, when, you, when, the, when, your, when your child is just at a child, a regular child, they throw you away. They throw all your wisdom away, all of your thoughts away, all of your information away all your advice away, all your critiques away, 
all your children will throw that away. All in. They will think that my father just talks a lot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. All he does is just talk and lecture and lecture and nag and nag and nag. He's always, he's always on my case. He's, my father is always on my case. He never lets me have any fun. That right there, that's, that's crazy. When your children say, my father never lets me have any fun. He's always on my case. All that stuff. See, it may seem harsh for the first 18 to 21 years. Because you're the enemy. For 18 to 21 years, you, the father, are the enemy. And mom is the hero. And rightfully so. She should be the hero. But here's where it comes back. In the words of Loaded Lux, look how I come around, though. The moment your child becomes an adult and they have to deal with responsibilities, whether it be they have a family of their own, they live on their own, they pay bills, they got a work, job, all that stuff. All of the advice that they threw away will come back to them like that. All of the discipline, all of the telling you to stop to prevent you from, from, from doing something that's going to hurt you, all of that will come back to the child. And in that moment, Father's Day will be twice as sweet because you now know, wait a minute, now it's my time as daddy to shine because now my child needs me. See, when they were children, they needed mommy. They needed mommy, which is fine. But now that they're adults, they need daddy. That's when daddy comes back. When daddy comes back, oh, they can't wait to they can't wait to talk to you. All the advice, hey dad, I'm gonna need can I talk to you about something? Hey dad, I need some advice on something. Hey dad, could you teach me this? Hey dad, what do you think about this? All of that, all that stuff that you would do, you would, you were trying to offer them. See, when they were younger. You were trying to give that stuff to them. They weren't trying to hear it. But when they get older, they come back to daddy. So they need daddy now. See right there? Now, see, for sons and daughters, it's a little different. For sons, it's going to come that moment when... See, for daughters, it's early. It's the, the Daughters come back to their fathers early than sons do. Sons will try to rebel and try to impose their strength and their authority, or whatever authority they think they have, on the father. And as a father, you got to let them know, hey, there's a difference between the boy and the man. You know, chill out before I show you what a man does. All right? And then, then, the, father, then, the, then the son comes back. When they're on their own and they have responsibilities and they got a family of their own. When your son becomes a father, oh yeah. When your son becomes a father, they can't wait to talk to you and ask you every single piece of advice they've ever wanted to know. With daughters, it's different. Daughters come back to their fathers quicker. Because you got to think, your daughter's becoming older. They're going to be dealing with boys, and they know, okay, if I'm dealing with these boys in junior high and high school and college, you're going to deal with heartbreak, you're going to deal with first dates and prom and first kiss and the whole idea of sex, all of that stuff. That's when your daughters come back to you, because they know, okay, I don't know how these boys are going to act. But I know somebody who does know how these boys are going to act. That's my father. So let me ask my father, hey, dad, why do boys act like this? Or hey, dad, why do boys only want one thing? Or hey, dad. Or what happens is your, your daughter's first heartbreak, and it will happen. Your daughter's first heartbreak. They won't tell you about their first heartbreak. No, 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 no. They won't tell you about their first heartbreak. 
you won't find out about your daughter's first heartbreak until mom tells you. And then you as a father, the first thing you're going to see as your daughter's first heartbreak is her crying. That's what's going to happen. Every father who has a daughter, know what I mean when I say this. If you have a daughter and your daughter has, is old enough to go through her first real heartbreak, right? You won't know until the mother tells you, hey, go talk to your daughter. She's got a, you know, she's got a first heartbreak. You know, she, she's upset about something. Go talk to your daughter. That's how it's going to go. As a father, that's where, that's where that bond is going to come in. That is where you as a father are going to become the ultimate hero for life. Because now you're going to be able to break down some of the um, some of the issues of boys and men. Because you know the game. As a father, you know the game. You know how boys do. You know how boys do when they come to girls. and We, we all know. We've been through high school. We've been through college. We all know the game. All fathers know the game. So it's hard for a boy to pull that on us. It's easier to pull it on, their do on, on your daughter because they don't know the game. But once the father comes in and schools the daughter on the game, then the daughter's going to want to know everything about boys. And they're going to come directly to you. And that's when daddy is champion again. That's when. So be ready. New fathers, I'm, new, all the new fathers, I'm giving the new fathers 18 to 20 years in the future already. With your newborn son and your newborn daughter. I'm giving you 18 to 20 years of future knowledge. So be ready. You will be the enemy. But trust and believe. Be patient. Be patient. You will be the enemy. Okay? Be patient. Ride this thing out. Take it slow. Ride it out. All right? It will be all right. You will be the enemy. You won't be liked. The mom's not going to like you. The children aren't going to like you. That's okay. Stay calm. Wait this thing out. Because your time is coming. New fathers, your time is coming. Okay? Your moment to shine will come. You just got to wait 18 to 20 plus years. It's coming. When that moment comes, just know. That's when Father's Day is going to work for you. All right? So, I just want to let you all you new fathers know about that. And happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. You know, happy Father's Day across the world. Whether it be your biological children, your adopted children, whatever. Fatherhood is one of the most unspeakable. Is one of the most underrated, unspoken jobs in the world. Okay? People, I don't think people really understand the power of a father because we don't see the results until later. See, we see the motherly results immediately. The father results come later. So, keep that in mind. New fathers, old fathers, happy Father's Day. Peace to you all. Peace.